What's up, YouTube? I'm a propagator here again. Just wanted to do a quick video about uh, the Mandela effect and the what I call the love frequency. All right. So they tell us they tell us that the heart has an electromagnetic field that extends for like miles beyond the port of, point of origin, which is our body, our heart. That's an amazing fact in itself. And I want to compare that to a, a radio frequency, a radio signal, and how it, it, uh, how it broadcasts not only just the electric signal or the electric, electric frequency, but it also broadcasts the voice and music along with it, even television, All right? So I went to school for electronics and we had to read up on it, on radio signals at one point. And uh, the way they explained it to us, they call it piggybacking. But basically all it is is, you know, you have an antenna that's constantly like putting out an electric signal or electric frequency. And all they do is they have devices and microprocessors and electronic equipment that adds voice and music to that electric frequency or electric signal. That's all it is. They just bring them together and they call it piggybacking because the uh, you know the electric signal is coming from basically the power. You plug in the power and the uh, the processes that bring that electric power, electric signal from the power cord or whatever to the antenna, that's constantly going on. But you add or piggyback the voice and music into the signal. You just like add it into the signal and that just comes along with the signal uh, and the frequency. And I wanna compare that to the heart. Like I just said, the heartbeat uh, the heart signal, the heart field extends, the electromagnetic field extends miles beyond, you know, the human body. So everything we think and feel is added to the signal, I think. It's piggyback, in my opinion. So what are you adding to the collective field? Are you adding love and truth, peace and harmony? Or are you adding hate and greed and corruption? That's how I'm. That's how I'm paralleling um, radio signals and 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 the love frequency. That's why it's good to meditate and think about love and truth and peace. <laughs> There's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus said, uh, "Think on these things. Think on love and and harmony and the good things of life of the soul." So yeah. Now I want to parallel that to the Mandela effect. Let's think about how on a piano scale we have octaves and they all are just different frequencies of the same sound basically. Looking at the Mandela effect, let's just say that the people who are on our timeline have a frequency of say love and peace and and the timeline they came from, that that uh, timeline, they were stuck in a frequency of, of deception and greed and corruption and hate, anger, all that bullshit. Uh, seeing how our bodies are energy, basically just energy, then it's kind of like changing the notes on the scale, you know. We, we could have been in, let's say, D flat and because of our actions and choices, we moved up the scale to a, a C sharp or something like that, you know, just for example. That's how I'm parallel that paralleling that to the Mandela effect and the lower frequency. Just a little theory I got. Shout out to 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 all the deep divers out there. And shout out to all the people who try to keep love and peace in their mind and in their heart. I think it's cool that I'm connecting or I'm seeing a whole a lot of connections of people who 
who got love in their hearts on YouTube and the internet. But that's all I got for this video, y'all. Peace and love to the world. I'm out.